Okay, the next one we're gonna do is to rebalance the eyes. Okay, so we're gonna do this one together. I'll show you first and then we'll go through it. So you're gonna bring your hands up to about nose height. And you're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna go up 45 degrees, but you're gonna follow it with your eyes, keeping your nose in line with your other finger. So track your right finger 45 degrees with your eyes. Then we're gonna go to the middle and then we're gonna go down. And we're gonna do that eight times each way and then we're gonna do the opposite side, okay? So the most important thing is pay attention that your hips, your shoulders, your back, nothing's tensing and that you're not moving your head. You're only moving your eyes to track the finger. All right, so hands out in front. You can even pull your spinal pelvic lock in here and we're gonna go right hand 45 degrees up, keeping your nose where it is. Track your right finger with your eyes and come back to center. We're gonna do that eight times. Go as far as you comfortably can. Because we're staring at a screen all day, we start to narrow our vision in. So this helps increase peripheral vision. If you can't see your peripheral, then the body tightens up to protect itself. So this helps relax the entire body. Now we're gonna go down to the, uh, straight to the middle on the right side, eight times. Good, relax the arms, shake them off. That's extra difficult today for some reason. That's because we've been moving our fascia around, lots of head pressure change. And now we're gonna go back up. We're gonna do diagonally down to the right. Okay, shake it off. Have me do contrast. Now walk around. Feel your right side compared to your left side. Usually the right side feels a bit more engaged and a bit more sturdy, but a bit looser at the same time. And this, this is breaking up the myth that solid, hard is sturdy. Sturdy is in flow and flexible because our, our bones are not structure. Our fascia is the structure that bones live in. And it, what's happening today is we're staring at a screen. When we stare at a screen, we narrow our focus here, which means we can't see here. If I can't see here, my body doesn't feel safe there, so it tightens up. So by expanding our ability to see peripherally, the body can relax because it knows that there's no threats right here. Okay, so let's do the other side. So bring your hands on up, pull your spinal pelvic lock in. We're gonna bring our left hand to the upper left corner, 45 degrees eight times. Good, relax your arms, shake them off when you're ready. And we'll go to the middle, middle left. If you've had a lot of concussions or any head injuries, this can help as well.
and shake it off. And we'll do bottom left. And relax. Go for a walk. Now I feel balanced. Quite often uh, you can have a pain in one side of your body just by doing that, it'll go away. And if you have a chronic condition in your body, shoulders, neck, or hips, um, quite often this exercise done a couple times a week will take, even if you've had it for years, get rid of it. It's if you had a car accident, think about it, hit this way, and you're going like this, it actually takes and it jerks the fascia and the eyes and the nervous system into that motion. So when the body's back in that motion, it actually relives the accident. If you've had trauma, Jason's mother had trauma from being beaten from this angle like this. When I put her eyes at that angle, her whole body freaked out. People can, and so the idea is, is that our whole nervous system's used to reacting to the world, not just our emotions or our thoughts or, or, or the way we see or hear. It's the entire nervous system is used to it. And if there's been a, a trauma and a pattern, it'll come back out. So that's why doing these helps break patterns.